And we've got some special giveaways as it's our first year on the Spotify platform. We had 77 Spotify followers that Prepare Like a Pro podcast ranked number one uh, on their rankings. So for all of you, if you're, if you're listening and you're one of those 77, check out your um, yearly wrap in the Spotify. And if you can screenshot that Prepare Like a Pro is ranking number one for 2022, direct message to me on any of our socials or email me at jacketpreparelikeapro.com and I'll give you a special prize. So over worth uh, high amount of value for, for those first listeners. But not only that, for our top five, so if we rank in the top five, which we had 373 of our followers rank, Prepare Like a Pro podcast ranked in their top five, I'll also be providing a special prize. What we do is we compile our top 10 most listened episodes and we uh, provide a snippet so like the highlights like about six to ten minutes from each guest and put it together in one episode so we're going to release that on monday the 26th of december but i want to announce those top 10 for you all so ranking at number one is kevin ball who's a biomechanist and sports scientist i was lucky enough to be lectured by kevin when i was doing my bachelor of sports science at victoria university robert augie came in at number two so he's another scientist and um, we have absolutely engaging episode, particularly the work that, that um, himself and Fabio and colleagues have been doing with the World Cup. Number three, Luke Meehan, who at the time was the strength and power coach at the Richmond Football Club. He's worked in the AFL for over 15 years and actually now is the high performance manager of the Richmond Football Club. So number four comes in at Jackie Lauder, who's a sports psychologist at the Collingwood Football Club. And that uh, episode was hugely informative around not only um, mental health, but mainly around mental performance. Number five is JB Marin. For anyone that wants to improve their speed or for coaches that want to improve your coaching ability and, and learn the most update. Number six is with Aaron Kellett. He is the high performance manager of the Australian cricket team. So it was really good to have someone uh, with who's a real expert in, in management and leadership. Number seven, Kip Taylor, who's a dietitian. She's worked at, uh, in the AFL as a sports dietitian. And now she's a consultant running her own business. So make sure to check out her episode. Number eight is with Tim Parham, who's one of the most experienced reconditioning coaches um, in uh, Australia. Number nine, which is a really recent one, Jared Wade. And he is the high performance manager of the Collingwood Football Club. And then number 10 to round out our top 10 for 2022 is with Will Hams, who's a um, retired Australian rules football player. I worked with Will Hams at Box Hill Hawks. So from a professional point of view, um, in this, so reflecting back over the last year, it's been a massive year for me. I, uh, as most of you listeners, you're probably well aware that I was working at Hawthorne Football Club a couple of years ago and was part of the development team, which that role was stood down. I then had a year out of sport in 2021, working at Edge. And I, after that year, I took on a part-time role, which I started this time last year. So in 2021, in December, where I was part-time at the Melbourne Football Club, assisting the Strength and Power Program, working with the young players in the AFL program, and then managing the, the VFL Strength and Conditioning Program at night time. Absolutely love that role. Also love my role at Iron Edge um, where we were working with community-based footballers. It was like a similar to a body fit F45 model, but it was more tailored to you leaning on strength and conditioning uh, principles and methods. And uh, it was great to work with guys like James Russell and, and Hal Marsden. Big lessons for this year. Um, there was a huge amount. Uh, I'm constantly learning in this business space, particularly not just having a face-to-face -face business, but an online educational platform so the big ones for me number one provide value over uh, constantly just selling and marketing your product so for me it, giving away heaps of education and providing a platform through the podcast to interview guests and share their knowledge so for me it's just providing as much value as i possibly can even if i'm not getting financial reward for it um, so that's where we we do that on our socials we do that with our newsletter via blog posts on our website um, so there's heaps out there for 
uh, for you, even if you don't have a budget to be able to spend, hopefully you can, you know, check out our YouTube channel for exercise videos. So we want to make sure we keep providing the community with uh, free content.